What is going on guys? Welcome back to Diaz Asylum. I'm your ward of the Mitch Shrine and today I'm sorry I didn't come back with the uh, Kid Boo breakdown. I'm gonna be honest with you. I fell asleep before either DBZ Space or the game had updated and the reason why I don't like doing uh, you know breakdowns from like discord data mines is because first of all it's much cleaner to look at when I'm on DBZ space or in game and second discord has been wrong before <laughs> I, 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 I don't trust discords so yeah I, I kind of just fell asleep before the data was released we're gonna go over kid boo uh, in a second in fact, let's just, let's just go ahead and uh, kind of run through him right now. Uh, so he's green. <sighs> my, my thought process was I really wanted him to function on the powerful opponent team. And in my opinion, powerful opponent needs, a, needs another yellow unit. Not that full power Frieza isn't a phenomenal yellow unit for the team. It's just the fact that he's the only yellow unit for the team, and he's a Legends Limited unit. I don't like how uh, Legend, like how how LF dependent, powerful opponent is, and green was the only color that was not taken up by a Legends Limited unit. You had Jiren, and Jiren is still really fucking good. And again, Jiren is literally the only non-LF on the team. I mean, there's also purple DKP, but if you have LF Rosé, you're running LF Rosé on the team instead. So, it, it's pretty much an entirely LF-based team, and I was really hoping that this Kid Boo would kind of change that, but instead, he doesn't, so. And I mean, this guy's never going to be anywhere near regen. That's why I wanted him to function more on the powerful opponent team, because no matter what fucking color he was, he was never going to make it anywhere near regen, so. I don't think green was the best color, but I'm not, like, super torn by it. You know, I, if, if, if I must replace Jiren on my powerful opponent team, I guess I can. But Jiren provides way too much to the team, in particular Blast Armor. Let's, let's just see what he does. So, normal strike, normal blast. Uh, the fucking per You can teach this to Shallot? You can give Shallot a 100% paralyzing... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's weak, right? It's major impact, so it's not gonna do a lot of damage. But fuck is that annoying. Alright, green card. Restore own key by 30. 20% 20 of the damage inflicted by allies for 15 time accounts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 1 to arts card draw speed for 10 time accounts. That is stackable. That looks stackable. Say you had 3 green cards in your hand and you switch in this kid, boo. <laughs> Give the whole enemy team minus 3 card draw speed for 10 counts. That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so cancer. <laughs> Main ability, draw a special move arts card next, because of course, why not? <laughs> Restore ally health by 15%. That's really low. I, I, I'd like a 20, 25% heal, not 15, but... Eh. Restore own key by 50. Applies buff effect, nullify attribute downgrades up to two times to allies. It's an alright main ability. It's, it's, it's nothing spectacular. I mean, the heal and the key is always good. And the fact that he gets 50 key and the blue card, I mean, that's a very powerful combo. You can go straight into the blue card. I don't know. I, 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 think, I think if they literally just added like 5% more health to this, it'd be a lot better. Um, I'll take a look at his Z ability in a second. Well, let, let's just go ahead and take a look at his actual stats. I, I, I never even did that. You can grind this kid boo up to 14 stars, so let's just go ahead and see. Uh, his stats are terrible, as I predicted, because he's a support type and a free-to-play unit. So, I, his stats are irrelevant. I don't really care. 28% to tag powerful opponent, base strike, and blast defense. Plus 18% to characters that are both powerful opponent and tag regen, base strike attack. Okay. 
perfectly fine with that. They, I, I don't know if they want you to run this guy with the LF Kid Boo. He doesn't really seem to function with LF Kid Boo. <laughs> That's another reason why this guy would have been perfect being yellow. Because then the LF Kid Boo would have covered his weakness. But being green, LF Kid Boo has no, like, interaction with him whatsoever. Well, not interaction, but, like, the two of them don't really function at all. <laughs> it's like, you still need that yellow unit. This is the problem. You still need a yellow. <laughs> in, in order to even run the two Kid Boos, you still need a yellow unit. And again, you're not running this fucker on regen. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and look at the abilities. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, plus 60% the damage afflicted cannot be stacked. Reduce damage received by 35% for 10 time accounts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, plus 20% the damage received for 15 time accounts. Randomly destroys one enemy card. Okay. Pretty solid. You know, no, nothing, nothing new here, but you know, pretty solid, pretty solid. Applies the following effects to allies when this character switches to standby. Restore key by 30, 30% 30 of the damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. The following effects occur uh, after enemy attack is over. Shorten ally's sub count by two, activates twice. Restore own health by 10%, activates three times. Yeah, there, there's, there's no way in hell. There's absolutely no way in hell that he's gonna replace Jiren on the powerful opponent team. There's no way in hell he's replacing Good Boo on the regen team. It, it's it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it, it's not gonna happen. I mean, he's he's a free to play unit, so I don't know what I expected, but I would have liked him to be good. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, he doesn't really seem good at all. Because of course he doesn't. He's a fucking free to play unit. Whatever, man. I'm still gonna grind him up to 14 stars. Still gonna do a video on him, but... Hot damn. All right, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the event. Uh, where is it? Here we are. So, we've got one of these dumbass style events again, but, you know, whatever, man. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't, I don't really care about the types of events Dragon Ball Legends decides to give us anymore. load please so we got z power there hoi poi coins we do have to make sure that we go ahead and look at the hoi poi coins 30 fucking coins for one slot remover why are slot removers why do they treat slot removers like like such a premium item it's like stop <laughs> really that's it just just hoi, just the hoi poi coins Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so we, we have the steps again. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we do have 200 Legends Limited Z power back, so that's very good. That's actually very good here. We have 500 crystals, uh, 200 Legends Limited Z power, some rare metals. All right, I don't mind these steps. I do wish we uh, we just had the 600 Legends Limited Z power for, doing, for, for using 1,000 Hoi Poi coins again. That was, I think, better, but shit, I'll, I'll take the 200 Legends Limited Z power. I can get my LF Vegeta to four stars with that, so the Grade 8 Vegeta. So I, I will take that. But all right, let's go ahead and keep going. We do have a new Battle Gauntlet. Fucking fantastic. Absolutely love these things, man. <coughs> That's a funny group of fucking uh, boost units. Gohan, Raditz, Vegeta, Piccolo, and the Cyberman. I don't know. It just seems like a funny group of boost units. But yeah, another battle gauntlet. It's 700 crystals. That's about the only redeeming quality of the battle gauntlet, but it's fine. Uh, okay, here's the leave it to pan. I thought I saw that in the, uh, in the news. Leave it to Pan, always good for energy skip tickets, you know. I, I, I still think this should be permanent. No reason why it can't be permanent. 
Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and do this right now. Get my crystals. As you guys can see, my Cyberman team is almost done. Uh, actually, where is the... Oh, there it is. Look at this powerful opponent team. What? What is the only fucking color it needs? The only color this fucking team needs is a proper yellow. I, I actually do think that, th that this yellow Broly is a bit underrated. I, I think people don't give him enough credit. He's pretty decent. But in reality, this, this team needed a non-LF yellow unit. I think that was the biggest thing. Because whether you like it or not, Full Power Frieza is the weakest link of the powerful opponent team. Like, he is weaker than Kid Buu, he is weaker than Corrupted Zamasu, he is weaker than pro at least DKP. Is he weaker than LF Rose? Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's definitely weaker than Jiren, so it's just like, is he a bad unit? No, not by any means, but the color powerful opponent needed was yellow. They didn't need a fucking green unit. Jiren shit stomps this kid boo <laughs> Jiren fucking shit stomps this kid boo even purple would have been a better color than fucking green green is the only color that does not have a legends limited attached to it it's literally the only color that kid boo couldn't be realistically in, in my opinion, green is the only color this Kid Boo should not have been. He could have been any of the other five colors. He had f four colors to pick from. Four colors that could have actually mattered on the team. And he picked the one that he had no... Bandai picked the one color that he had no chance with. On, on any fucking team. It's, it's whatever, man. Let's just go ahead and see if we don't get that sweet 100 Legends Limited Z power just for showing up here. <laughs> Did I just say 100 Legends Limited Z power? I meant Kid Boo Z power. I'm tired. All right. I woke up and immediately started recording the video because, you know, I fell asleep. So leave me alone. <laughs> But I will say this. Wow, he just health. All right, but why? <laughs> I, I will say this. Uh, this update is actually pretty good. If we ignore the fact that the, their free-to-play unit is completely worthless, simply due to his uh, to his color, this is actually a pretty pretty damn good update. Which is funny. I, I actually find that to be kind of hilarious. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> I actually find that to be kind of funny. Considering they probably last week had the worst update ever because of the whole Gohan thing. And then they follow it up with one of the best updates they've had in a very long time. So that was a Cell Saga Platinum Equip. Yeah. Let's give LF, let's give Zenkai LF Gohan this. This is the only problem. This is the only true issue I have with this entire update. Fuck this whole platinum equipment. Like, I, I don't, I don't care. Let's just say we get an LF cell next week and that's why they released this. I don't give a fuck. Zenkai LF Gohan has access to this as well. You should have just made it a cell equip. Maybe that would have been too obvious. It's, it's pretty fucking obvious that we're getting an LF cell. Granted, it was obvious um, a few weeks ago that we were going to get an LF Bardock and it ended up being Grade 8 Vegeta. So I guess Bandai can do whatever the fuck they want. But this, this should not exist. There's literally zero reason why an equip like this should exist. Why? And it's the exact stat that Zenkai LF Gohan wants to have. 
He wants to be doing blast attack. He wants to be doing ultimate and special move damage. Those are the things he wants to be doing. I, I don't I don't get that. I don't get the decision to make that. Like why? <laughs> But other than that, this update was pretty decent. Uh, we do have double RP going on here, so that's nice. <laughs> yes, new season, thank you. They really want to bring people back. Double RP is notorious for bringing out a lot of people that usually don't play PvP, because it's easier to get the battle rank 50. So they must really be desperate to bring people back because we're not, are we in the middle of a celebration? I don't think we are anymore. They just decided to have a double R piece and they just decided to have this golden showdown nonsense. Even though there was no reason to. You can't tell me they're not trying to bring people back. <laughs> you got this equipped right here. Got minion, huh? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> but uh, is 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 that it? That might be it. <clears throat> I don't know. There is uh, a new banner, I guess I can talk about too. Uh, Legends Ultimate Pickup. You got these fuckers. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't care. Um, I, I'd summon on it just to try a nine-star kid boo. Like, <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh, realistically, I, I still need to keep summoning on this banner for more copies of Vegeta. Need more copies of Vegeta. There's, there's this Vegeta. Don't Zen him. <laughs> ah, Frieza. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. I can't really complain too much about this update. I think it's pretty good. Poi Poi coins will always make me happy. Free units, no matter how useless, will always make me happy. Um, there's a pretty decent amount of crystals that you can grind up right now. So uh, all in all, pretty good update. Probably doesn't change the fact that I don't, I don't think this update's quite good enough to really bring people back to the game, but it's a good update for those of us who are still here. So, there's that. Let's see if I can get to 200 on the first one. Damn it. Damn it. It's fine. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the free Kid Boo and this update as a whole. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can. It really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.